Good morning, friends. I'm Reverend Carla Leitner, part of the fabulous ministerial team at Unity San Diego. Today is Thursday, August 25th, and the Daily Word is talking about wonder. Well, I bet you wonder why I'm late doing the prayer today. So I tell you, I went to the hand doctor. I had carpal tunnel surgery a few times years ago and had problems and about 10 surgeries on my hands throughout the years. I'm allergic to anti-inflammatories, so I get shots in my hands. So as you can see, I got a couple shots in my hands this morning. My hands were also very, very numb. And so I was a little bit late and I kind of had to wait till the numbness came out so I could type to get in here. So I'm just impressed and full of wonder at the advancements that are made in medicine today and the things that allow us to really be in our body and to give us uh, health. Yesterday I had, uh, I was in a car accident a couple years ago and um, my leg sometimes gets numb. So yes, yesterday I had an epidural in my back. Yesterday I was loopy and it wasn't feeling well, but today it's great. So just the wonder of modern medicine and the ability and the things that divine ideas have given to people. You know, we have these divine ideas that when we're in our times of silence and our times of meditation and we allow the God of our understanding to work in, as, and through us, then we come up with these divine ideas and these ideas just spring forth with so many wonderful things. So today I am full of wonder for the medical profession and how it's helping me and I hope how it's helping you as well. The scripture today comes from Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, doing wonders? Really? Doing these wonders, this splendor, this holiness, and how does God express? Through us. As long as we open up and allow ourselves to become that conduit of spirit, become that, that place where we can get these divine ideas, filter them, and then send them out in our own individual ways. Daily Word talks about being a wide-eyed child full of wonder as we look at the sky, the ocean, things around us. You know, it's so incredible to me when uh, you see a, a small child and just, wow, wow, everything is beautiful. And I know sometimes as we get older and we start to get cynical or we start to allow things to seed as pieces of negativity in us, and then as we get older, we work on getting those seeds out, um, that how beautiful it is and how positive and how wonderful it is to actually look through life with these eyes of wonder with this awesomeness, with this awesome reverence, and just wow. I remember when um, I was first in ministerial school, and I would go back and look at stuff, and I'd say, like, who wrote that, you know? And But I know when I was in my zone, when I was in my place, that, that all these ideas and inspirations came out. And when I read it, it was like I was in awe that it had come out of me because it was spirit working in as and through me. And that's so wonderful to see that. So today we're going to just take a few moments in the silence to enter the awesome mystery of God. We're gonna look inside and contemplate and think about what is wonderful today. What do I look at with the eyes of wonder affirmation my curiosity fills me with wonder say that with me please my curiosity fills me with wonder even saying that brings a smile to my face curiosity and wonder we're not worrying about what's going wrong we're not ugh, but we're curious looking for wonderful things always for the blessing in each and every situation each and everything always for the beauty taking that time to be in the moment, in this moment and enjoying the now. 
So let's take that moment, wiggle out, and just breathe in and release. I apologize, I forgot to turn my phone off, I'm sorry. Breathe in and release. Just take a breath knowing that we are in a sacred space and we come together to meditate. We come together to, in this awesome place of wonder, together. Focusing on and looking at the beauty and the gift of God in each and every person, place, and thing in our lives. Even the things that we thought weren't going well, or weren't right, or the mistakes that we made, all have some beauty and purpose in them because they brought us to who we are today. The people, the person, the spirit that expresses individually in this day, right here, right now. So let's take a moment, friends, to focus on this affirmation. My curiosity fills me with wonder. My curiosity fills me with wonder in the silence. allow the wonder of God, the wonder of creation, the beauty in, as, and around me to unfold like a rose right before my eyes today as I focus my curiosity on that wonder of God, on the beauty, the presence of spirit in each and everything I see, including myself in the mirror, in each and everything I do, and in every place I go today, I focus on the beauty and awesome wonder of God. And I say thank you, thank you, thank you, God. And so it is. And so it shall be. Amen. Hmm. Thank you, friends, so much for joining me today. Have a happy Thursday. Namaste.